what up how's it going first let me start by saying don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you are subscribed make sure that the notification bell shout out to all the new viewers shout out to all the subscribers and i have a patreon with full-length early reactions to things like this if you'd like to check it out so on that last episode it was interesting to see that the time of year brought about some uh feelings from the past for these guys but of course they had a lot of work that they're in so it's something different they uh, as i said that's what this whole show is right they're playing with your perception of what that job is and as i said they were able to do something with the show that not many others can do and that is have growth um from the very first episode because it plays with how you view mobsters right because it's not just that they are uh, something from popular culture. It's like they, they were a real thing, right? So either you know about them from movies, you know about them from real life, or you have this amalgamation that you've created in your in your own mind based off of everything you know, sort of like what I've done. And this plays with it. So to see all these guys dealing with stuff from the past in their own way as that time of year comes around, right? It was interesting, right? So let's go ahead and see this next one. I'm looking at the thumbnail and Paulie and uh, Chris uh, look like they out in the snow in the forest somewhere or some shit. Let's see what's going on with that. Let's go. Hello? I is Tony there? Oh. Uh, no, I'm sorry. He's not. This is Mrs. Washington from the high school for little Anthony. Mrs. You know, Washington? Shorty's so weird. Are you son's school? Tony, it's me. I'm sorry to call you. My religious medal. I look everywhere and I think I lost it. I think it's on the Stugats. Oh, okay. Who is on the board with you? Man, bye. Be sure and tell him. Bye. It was an old girlfriend. Oh, you mean she wasn't from the school? My God, she sounded so convincing. <laughs> I'm just trying to be honest here. Yeah, if you're trying to be honest, why'd you lie? I don't want to piss you off. So it's really more about you then? What are you talking about? I didn't want to hurt your feelings. What you said was that you didn't want to piss me off. Oh, here which we implies go. that you'd have here to deal go. with me, which was more about sparing you than my fucking feelings. <laughs> Merry Christmas. There it goes. There it goes. I was wondering if he was going to see that side. <laughs> and he really didn't do nothing this time. He really didn't do nothing. <laughs> you know that Ruski, Valerie, works for Slava? Well, they owe still five grand. Why not still go? Send him home. He's dying from the flu. I'm supposed to take my mother to Social Security tomorrow. So you do it after. I don't even know why we deal with these people. What, I guess? They make us money. Thank you. She was dating a different boy, a young African-American man. Yeah, they broke up. Actually, he broke it off with her. Yeah. Believe that? Well, you didn't exactly give him much choice, Tony. Oh, so now I'm responsible for her being with Jackie. I'm just saying that if you hadn't been so mean to him, who knows? Maybe she might not be with this one. I find it very interesting that you're able to talk about this without rancor. Actually, we haven't been arguing as much lately. It's the therapy. We're learning how to communicate. I know Spanish. What? Spanish. Oblique? Oblique. Indirect. His dumb ass was never going to make it at all. Come on, you're in Why was his father amping this nigga up? <laughs> Not an English. Jackie was never smart. As in, uh, how about giving me some? Jackie, I'm sick. His time is almost done. I know. Only kidding. No, no, he wasn't. Are we ever? <laughs> I'm only... to. See? <laughs> Jackie, tired? Well, actually, I'm kind of wiped. Mind if we finish this tomorrow? You're leaving? Yeah. I gotta let you get some sleep. Look at this shit. TV, stereo, DVD. The fuck's this? Universal remote. <laughs> Universal remote. Cutting edge. <laughs> Probably wiped your ass barehanded till you came to this country. So, Valerie, you got Silvio's money? Fucking Silvio. Watch it, comrade. Money is on an entertainment center. But there not be any rubles in there. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Polly. What? Universal remote put it down on docking station. You got some balls, my friend. Whoops. <laughs> Paulie. What? It was an accident. You want to fuck here, cocksucker? You come to my house. What did you call me? Yeah. You thought that was going to, thought that was going to do so? Paulie! Paulie, where the fuck are you? <laughs> where are you? You messing with a different type here. <laughs> Oh. 
This is bad. What the fuck? What'd you do? And would I have a choice? Oh, no. I think he's dying. Must have cracked his windpipe. Oh, no. Pull the camera. I asked, are we going to see any more about the Russians? And apparently we are. About the other day. I had no right to even answer your phone. No shit. It's all right. I'm sorry I lied. It's beautiful. It's from Morocco. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Now I feel like a jerk. I got nothing for you. Of course you do. We saw that guy, but we had a problem. Just supposed to pick up the money. We did, but he started giving us some shit. Prick sucker punched me. Chris already knows what's up with Polly. Like, Polly is a scumbag. Where's the guy? With the luggage. Are you fucking kidding me? It got bad, T. We had no choice. I'm supposed to meet, meet Slava later. What the fuck am I supposed to say to him? It's okay. Nobody was around. You use your own judgment, but whatever you decide, you do it way the fuck away from me. What are you gonna mind? Nine o'clock, my house. You like London broil? How you doing? <laughs> Let's take him down to Pine Barrens. Okay, so South that's... South Jersey. It's perfect. It's fucking deserted down there. I got a shovel I use for digging the car out. The best part is, we'd be like 20 minutes from AC. Now look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm seeing somebody, patient of yours. Gloria Trillo. She's smart, she's sexy, she's Italian. Italian? You stick to your own kind, you know. What, what is this, uh, West Side <laughs> wait, Story Wait, now? wait, wait, Is that Dr. Melfi just realizing he's that way? <laughs> I don't know why, in my mind, I, I assume she realized he was on that stick to your own kind shit. She was like, what is this, West Side Story? Which is hilarious for her to say that, that's funny. Do you think having met her in therapy holds any significance? Well, maybe she reminds me of you. How? Smart, sexy, she's Italian. She's actually nothing like you. Well, maybe a little. Who else then? You both got great legs. Keep joking, it's your dime. Don't get jealous. It's your fault we met in the first place. The scheduling mix up? Point is, she makes me happy. Does she seem happy to you? When she's with me, and you know what? So am I. You think lying to Carmela in therapy is the best thing for your panic attacks? I'm content. I'm relaxed. Bottom line is I'm a better husband and a better father. And if you want to know the truth, as much as I love my wife, being with Gloria makes me happier than all of your Prozac and your therapy bullshit combined. You see the look on Dr. Melfi's face? That's the look of someone who knows who Gloria really fucking is. <laughs> She's looking like, we'll see. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I knew it. Cocksucker's <laughs> still alive. Yeah. Fucking piece of shit. Keep out of it. I'll put one in your head. Fuck your fucking mother. <laughs> Fuck you doing? You think we're digging a hole? That's right, shithead. Get to work. Oh, no. I know the ground's kind of hard, but give it some of that Siberian action. Shut up. Not that it matters now. But we didn't come to your house to kill you. That month of yours. You gotta learn to shut the fuck up. When am I gonna learn? How far is it to Atlantic City? Pank it! Pank it! Yeah. We knew it. Is he gonna go to your vehicle and now take it, you dumbasses? Oh, now they're going to get it. Ah, oh. Oh. Yeah. We knew eventually. What the fuck? What the fuck? Got him, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, he's not to be played with. Did you just nip an ear or something? Like. You see which way he went? It's got to be close. If his head's probably hanging off. Speaking of covering with snow, uh, this has always been... F uh, Funny to me. Uh, I was watching Gangland once on History Channel, and they was like in Alaska. Uh, the gangs out there, they be killing people <laughs> in the winter time, and they don't even find the body till <laughs> till it just melt. They were like, oh, sh thought that was a moose. Well, call the police. It's some blood over there. All right, let's see. Let's see how bad he got him. It just stopped. Where is this prick? I don't see any more blood. Like the trail just ended. The package hit Chrissy with an implement and ran off. <laughs> with ran an off. implement? <laughs> I thought you said it was, uh, you know. I thought it was, Chief. Complicated. We're looking for it now. 
Oh, wait, 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 I can't hear you. You're breaking up. I said we're looking for it. Is there any way the package could survive? No, T. No fucking way. Cocksucker. What? I got a meeting with Slava. I could be walking into a fucking bus saw. Yeah, that, that is messed up. Fuck it. Let's just go. Squirrels will lead him anyway. Where we Holy, park? come on. Back there. Yo, Get he's being an idiot. You sure? Because I thought I mean, he's acting like around. a child. Four years in the army, kid. We just follow our own footprints. We walked in a circle. How's that fucking possible? <laughs> Y'all are idiots. All right. We were driving south, and the sun's setting there. <laughs> what good's that to us? Shut up, At least up, we know Paulie. what direction we're headed. <laughs> yeah, but we're still fucking lost. <laughs> we're not lost. It's 200 here. OK. Same drill. Tile of men, four days, clean as whistle. Where's your friend, you know? Valeri, who knows? He gives Silvio the money, yes, because I told him. I don't know, I wasn't there. Oh, <laughs> that's you on him, ain't it? Oh, you're going to see how important he was to that man. He was like brother to me, closer than brother. But now he's tragic figure. What do you mean? The alcohol, the drugs, disgraces to his family. It breaks my heart. In Chechnya, he saves my life. You're uh, very emotional. I would do anything for him. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. The guy you're looking for is some kind of ex-commando or some shit. He killed 16 Chechen rebels single-handed. Uh. Hey? Hey, that you? <laughs> that man is... Oh, he's damn. hunting them right now. I didn't hear what you said, He's Tom. somewhere back there. So, this guy cannot come back to tell this story. You understand? You're not going to believe this. He killed 16 Czechoslovakians. <laughs> that was an interior decorator. <laughs> His house looked like shit. His house looked like shit. That's fucking hilarious. Didn't you hear it? Twig snapping. You said yourself I hit him in the head. Fucking Rasputin this guy. <laughs> Come on, he's running. <laughs> it's a trap. No. Nah, they just suck. Fucking cunt! Wally, come on, I think I got him. If we were trying, we wouldn't have come close. <laughs> exactly. No, I lost that's my facts. shoe. <laughs> you idiots. 